All right, guys, welcome back to the video. Hey, before we get started, I just want to give a quick shout out and say thank you to all the new subscribers the channel has gained. Uh, it's gone up by nearly 20,000 in the past two weeks, and that's just huge. I never imagined the channel will be this popular. So I just thank you uh, to each and every one of you guys who have subscribed. I'm really thankful and appreciative of that. I also like to say thanks to the people who have been watching the shorts been putting out lately. I know I haven't been able to put out any full length content in a little while. And I apologize for that, but I've just been putting the shorts out to, to keep something on the channel. But I'm getting to where I have more time freed up to do more full-length content. So that's what I'm going to start doing uh, starting today. And today I've got a video for you on a product that a company reached out to me asking if I would do a review on. Now, I don't like to do reviews unless I can be totally honest and transparent. I you know, discussed this with the company. They said, hey, you know, that's fine. We just want to know your thoughts on the product. I let us know if, if, you know, if it needs improvements and things like that. I was like, that sounds good to me. So uh, I agreed to do the review. They actually sent me a few things. We're going to do a, a review on one of those items today. So the company is called Lock Grips. Here's their logo. And they're actually a company out of Michigan. Here's a card with some of their information on it. Hopefully that's focusing and you can see it there. Uh, they're out of Michigan. And if you look right here, you may be able to see it says Made in USA. Uh, pretty much everything they offer, at least that I looked at, seems to be made in the United States, which is pretty cool to me. Anytime I can buy something U.S. made, I do try to. So that's a huge plus. The product we're going to be looking at is a backstrap for the Taurus GX4. This is one that Lock Grips manufactures out of solid brass. It does have some weight to it. I do like this so far, though, because it does seem to be pretty aggressive. It has some really aggressive knurling or, or stippling, you may call it here. And I tend to sweat pretty bad when I shoot. So I think this will really help me to keep an even better grip on the pistol. For anybody who's unfamiliar, this is a Taurus GX4. This one is unloaded. It is my personal gun. I did a video on it a little while back. Uh, go check that out if you're interested in this pistol. It's a great little budget 9mm. Uh, but anyway, they do come with replaceable back straps here. When you buy the gun new, you do get two of these. And that's what Log Grips has done here. They've manufactured one out of solid brass for us to try out. Uh, the only thing I'm not a huge fan of, at least at this point, is the color. Uh, it kind of clashes with the pistol a little bit, I feel like. Um, but, you know, that's not a huge deal. As long as the product functions correctly, that's really well, all that matters. So uh, let me get this guy slapped on. I'm going to take a few shots down range, let you know what I think about it, how it feels, if it makes the gun feel any different or shoot any differently, I'll let you know that. And hopefully you can decide if this is something you're interested in or not. Uh, but let me get that swapped out and I'll be right back. All right, guys, you can see I had the back strap on the little GX4 here. It went on super easy, no problem at all. I didn't show the install because I don't want to violate any kind of YouTube rules or anything. But if you're familiar with how to install the back straps on these, you'll have zero problem whatsoever. We are still unloaded, by the way. And speaking of safety, obviously I am wearing ears. I do have eyes on and I am at a private, safe, remote range. This is my personal range. Sometimes I get some weird comments down below about the range and safety. This is a totally safe range, guys. This is over, I think this is like, 60 tons of red dirt I have back here. I just had it delivered the other week. Totally safe. Nothing's getting through that. It is a safe range. We are wearing ears and eyes. I'm the only person back here. I don't use a cameraman, so we're totally safe there. But anyway, back to the pistol. I did get it on there. Zero issues whatsoever. I really am liking this. Just as I suspected, it feels really good in the hand. Super aggressive. I feel like it's going to grip really, really well. This feels just like the knurling on a barbell. If anybody's ever been to the gym and used a bench press or they've done some squats, this feels just like the knurling on that. So if you're familiar with that, you'll know exactly how this feels. Super aggressive, feels great in the hand. I really think I'm gonna like this. I've got 10 rounds of Blazer aluminum case, 115 grain, standard ball ammo, just some range stuff. I'm gonna send these down range of the steel plates I've got here. We're probably 12 yards or so away, nothing too crazy. I'm gonna shoot these 10 rounds. See how the pistol performs gonna give you my thoughts and uh, we'll go from there so let me get these 10 rounds right on down range we're hot see what we get all right we're clear as usual we have to have at least one miss in there but the pistol shoots just as i suspected really grips the hand well i feel like i have total control of the gun guys it feels awesome in the hand as you can see i actually i even got a little bit of redness there if you can see that from where this thing's gripping me i really really like aggressive stippling uh, on on grips on pistols anyway so this is really right up my alley i'm really enjoying the way this feels i think i'm going to send a few more shots down range uh, just to get another feel for it and i'll share those thoughts with you guys in just a moment all right guys i'm loading up with 10 more rounds of ammo this time i'm going to send some barn all 115 grain steel case ammo downrange. I know a lot of guys knock steel case ammo, say it doesn't work and things like that, but I shoot this in a lot of pistols, a lot of rifles, and I have a lot of good luck with it, guys. So maybe I'll do a video on that one day. 
But anyway, I'm gonna run the steel. We're gonna be taking a few shots at the same steel targets down range once again. I'm gonna wrap it up, let you know what I think, my final thoughts on this little grip. Uh, so let me send those down range, uh, charge it up, and uh, we'll take a few shots. Glad as you can see we are clear um, in typical fashion we always have to miss one shot so we did nail that but anyway about the pistol the grip feels awesome if you guys did notice that bar and all it does tend to shoot a little smoky it is a little dirty but if you're one of those that tends to clean your guns pretty regularly you'll have zero issue whatsoever as you can see the gun function flawless with the steel but anyway the back strap as i said in the first part i just don't have anything bad to say about it it feels great in the hand it really grips the palm of my hand well. You may can see there's some imprints there and even a little bit of redness from where it was gripping me so hard. I really enjoy that. I like an aggressive grip on a pistol. This fits that bill perfectly for me. Now, I didn't show you guys at first, but I'll show you now. If you can see, the, the grip is manufactured with a really, really uh, high level of quality. There's really no proud edges at all. There's nothing here. There's nothing sharp. Everything fits absolutely perfect. I mean, it's made to fit just like a glove, as the old saying goes. And there's absolutely nothing proud at all it's not sharp it fits great it feels great like i said if i had one thing to say that you may consider a negative i really wouldn't say it's a negative just kind of an opinion is the color isn't my favorite i mean it, it, it is brass um so and it's obviously going to be this color and then after looking at it it really doesn't uh, it really doesn't look that bad i mean what do you guys think i mean you know brass on black on green maybe it would be better if it was black but i think as time goes on and it ages and gets some patina and wear on it it'll probably end up turning a little bit darker and it'll look a little bit nicer but anyway just based on performance the grip performed excellently i have nothing bad to say about it it's great highly recommend the company lock grips go check them out i do have some 1911 uh, grip panels they sent me i'm going to be doing a review on those here soon they seem to be super high quality as well i haven't tried them out but i'll be bringing you a video on that soon they offer a ton of different items on their website uh, parts for the taurus tons of stuff for glocks uh, 1911s they have grips for those uh, Breda 92s they have a bunch of different firearm accessories like uh, pistol stands and things like that. Just run over to their website and check them out. Give them a look. I'm not getting any kind of payment or compensation. I'm not getting anything if you buy anything from them. I'm just recommending a good company uh, when I recognize it. And this is, seems to be a pretty good company so far. So I would highly recommend this grip here. Maybe you guys are interested in it. If you decide to pick this up and put it on your gun, let me know. Drop a comment down below what you think about it or if you think that you will go get it or won't go get it because of this video. Let them, Drop a comment down below so I can know that. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate each and every one of you viewing the video. Like I said, I apologize for not bringing more full-length content, but I will be putting out more soon. I'll be doing another review on those, on those grips they sent me for the 1911 also. So tune back in for that. But anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. I'm going to let you get out of here. Tune back in next time for the next video, and I hope you guys have a great one. You guys take it easy.